this is not VR chat. Do you want to have your own VTubing application that has a track chair, a tracked microphone, and in-world screens and allows you to move around just like this? This video will help you get started making your own VTuber app. This video has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. For fast, safe, reliable internet browsing to make it appear like you're from almost any country in the world, please click on the link in the video description down below. It really, really helps you out. It's actually something I use on a regular basis. Recently, I mainly use it on, on YouTube to get around the age restriction because apparently in Korea, you have to register on to be on a list in order to watch something like the Cyberpunk 2077 trailer which I don't really want to do. I also use it to check out anime on Crunchyroll. <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Jen. Yo. Hey, I'm Fofamit. I'm a VTuber. And before we start the video, I also stream on Twitch and most often in the just chatting section. So if you have questions about VTubing or just want to chat and hang out, why don't you drop by? Some of you watching this video might have heard of Code Miko Project Melody AI Angel, and I would pretty much attribute them being the top tier virtual content creators, also known as VTubers. And there's a bit of information out there on how to get a setup like theirs. And in this video, I'm gonna explain what I know about their setups and how you can replicate their setups on a budget. A lot of VTubers out there actually play this game called VR Chat, and I actually used to stream it quite a bit. One day, this video appeared on my feed. And my first thought was, how can I use this for VTubing? Wait, Google search. <laughs> oh, Unreal Engine, free, nice. I can work with free. iPhone, oh, okay. Uh, that's not too bad. I, I can work with that, I can work with that. And I think for face tracking and other VTuber apps, uh, where have I seen a video like that? Okay, okay, well, motion capture suits. He is wearing a motion capture suit. And since it's not one of those motion capture suits with like the balls or QR codes on them, like you might've seen in like Mark Ruffalo in Avengers Endgame, this is something that's completely different. So uh, let's see what we can find on Google. Whoa, this is the suit and they can have it under clothing. Now I need to know. Now I know. X Sense suit. Let's see how much that costs. That's a lot of money. And there's a subscription fee? Okay. Okay. What else is there? What else is there? There has to be something less expensive than this. Ah, oh, okay. So there's a Rococo suit that's also expensive, also requires a subscription. There's Perception Neuron, still expensive, and I heard not that reliable. And then I realized there might be another way because I remember seeing something not too long ago that might have had exactly what I need. But first, let's take a look at other VTubers who have super cool setups. So Code Miko uses an X-Sense motion capture suit and an iPhone and the Unreal Engine. Um, AI Angel, I don't know much about what she uses other than she uses the Unreal Engine. I would imagine based on what I've seen, it's very similar to what Code Miko uses. And then Project Melody, um, there's not a lot that's been made public, but due to the DMCA kerfuffle that she was in not too long ago, we do know that she uses Unity. Even though I originally started using the Unreal Engine, I personally prefer using Unity. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get started with your own setup and how to get started doing it yourself. So um, we're gonna do this a couple of ways. And for each of these ways, we're gonna get started by first downloading Unity Hub. And we're going to be working with Unity 2020 1.06. So now once you have Unity Hub installed and open, you can go down to the Installs tab, just like on the screen, and there you can add the new Unity project. Now in the Unity Hub main menu, you're going to go to the new icon and you're going to have a drop down option to choose the version that you have. And then here you're going to name your file and then here we're going to make a 3D project. Now download the Virtual Motion Capture Protocol external receiver, linked in the description down below, then import the Unity package like I'm doing here. 
If you do not see the pop-up, that means something went wrong with the import. You can try saving, closing, and restarting. If that doesn't work, try importing it again. In Unity, you can import your VRM model. If you don't know how to convert your model to VRM, you can check this video. For this video, I'm going to be using my model, but I'll tell you that it'll work exactly as the same with the test model that I'm going to be providing down in the description below. Once your model is imported, drag it into the scene and then make sure that your model is set to 000, like this. Bring the external receiver to the hierarchy by clicking and dragging it and then select it and then click and drag your model name from the hierarchy onto the one which is the controller, just like what you see here. And also please take note of the port number. This will be very, very important later. Now we can add the environment. If you don't already have an environment made, you can follow along in this video and we're just gonna make a simple ground. To make a simple ground, all you need to do is just right click, add a 3D object, and um, you can either add a plane or a cube and then you can just stretch it or flatten it out to get the ground that you want. Just like what you see in this video. Next on the camera, we're gonna add a script called Simple Camera Controller. This should come by default in Unity 2020. If by chance you do not have it, I will be providing this script in the description down below. So to do this, you uh, go into, you click on the camera and then in the inspector, you're going to add a component. This will allow you to add the script that will allow you to control the camera with the mouse and keyboard. Now to control your character, you're going to have two options. You can use VR tracking or you could use a webcam. So for webcam control here, you're going to have the ability to move your hands, your fingers and do facial expressions and move your upper body. So open VC face with your avatar. If you want to see a video on VC face, you can click here and now go to settings, general settings and scroll down and enable VMC sender. And one thing to note is since we're using VC face as kind of like a motion capture software, you can set it to the lowest graphic settings. And then here is where you're going to be entering in that really important port number that we mentioned earlier. Now back in unity, with VC face still open, press the play button and you should see your avatar movements matching what you see in VC face, like what you see on the screen. If your avatar is not moving in unity, but it is moving in VC face, then that means you need to double check the port numbers and also make sure that um, it's pointing onto the same network. You could try using the local host IP address that you'll see appear on the screen right here. And then for webcam control, this is pretty much it. The only downside is you're not, you're not really gonna be able to move around, but it's a great way to start because you don't really need to do much else to go into the next part. VR tracking control. For this setup, you're gonna need at the very least a VR headset like the Quest with Oculus Link, a Vive, a Valve Index to have your three points of tracking um, so that would be your head and your hands. For full body tracking, ideally you would want to have four Vive trackers and two controllers to have the best experience. That's what I use. You're also going to need the Patreon version of Virtual Motion Capture, which at minimum costs $3. So once you download and install it, open Virtual Motion Capture, import your avatar, then go to settings and enable VMC sender. Once again, this is only available in the Patreon version. Next in the settings, go to tracker assignment and assign the proper trackers for their location. So like for example, for your right hand, left hand head, a tip is that your tracked device will highlight green when it is moving. And once you have all of that set up, you can go now into calibrate and use normal modes and then T pose for dominance. If you set everything up right, go back in the Unity and press the play button and see if everything works. Once you have everything working, all you have to do is go to File, Build Settings, Build and set the location to where you want and then hit Build and you're gonna be able to compile. Once it is finished compiling, save and close the Unity project and now open your own Unity application. It will ask for network permission. It is very, very important that you allow this and now everything should work and now everything is set up for your own basic VTuber application. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe where I'm going to show you in a future video how to get your own tracked chair, how to get your own tracked microphone and be able to have your screens reflect into the world. And uh, later I'll have a more in-depth look into the application virtual motion capture.